Welcome back to another long-awaited yet perfectly timed episode of this Iron Man series. It's been three long weeks, and man, have we moved forward with the account. I don't even remember some of the things that I've done in the span of this time, but there are a lot of clips to go through, and I'm sure all of you are just itching to see what I've wasted my time on throughout what feels like months. So let's get this video rolling. Just finishing the run right here. Oh, it's purple, but it's not for me. Who is it for? Who is it for? Oh, it's Huggies. Let's go. Okay, let's not get rid of those. We can sell that for some GP. And here comes the first level of Slayer in for the week. And we are now at level 91. I can now kill Cerberus and go just as dry as Iron Mammal. Very nice. And here's the most unexciting clip of level 99 range. Now you probably noticed I've been bursting most of my Slayer tasks and I need to raise my magic level up to 99. And we're really close to level 96, and here you go. Level 96, I guess. Let's go, Zenit Shard number three. Awesome, Zenit Shard number four. Hell yeah. This is probably one of the biggest reasons why I have to delay the next video, because this took a really long time, but we we're finally finished with 93 crafting. We can now go ahead and make the last two Zenite shards for our torture and I believe our tormented bracelet. Yes, finally, let's go ahead and make this torture. Let's hurry though. Come on, come on. Hopefully I don't run out of the boost. I know this boost information isn't correct all the time. Let's hurry up and make it. I don't want to boost for this again. All right. And let's go and enchant this beast. This feels so nice for the account. It's best in slot, so I don't have to make anything better than this. Just need to check which runes I need. Our blood and soul runes, that's easy. Let me just grab them real quick. Awesome. Amulet of Torture complete. This is single-handedly the most reclined hard mode tab I've done. This is our first KC. So let's see if we get the dust or one of the kits that I can't put on because I don't have any weapons. Or at least yet. We'll, we'll be optimistic. We'll go ahead and open the chest inside the room for more suspense. Just finishing off another KC with some of my friends. Let's see if we get a purple. Come on. And I'm still a leech. I did 30%. And oh shit, there we go. Looks like it's Martel's purple. What's he gonna get? Let's give him a justy. No way. Always run your back to backs. Let's see if we get it. And we do, and it's mine. I think this position's lucky. What are we gonna get? Hold on, I need to go on uh, HD for this clip. Give me one second. More suspense. Turning straight into HD. Looking nice. Come on. Give me a scythe too. Or I'll take anything except Justy. All right, outside of HD. All right, and a Vernick, that's really nice. I'll take that. Just taking a small break from TOB to get another Slayer level. We are now at 93. Now you're probably wondering, hey, why the hell is he killing Banshees right now? Well, I'm just trying to Tyrael skip because I need to get the Occult Necklace from Smoke Devils. And it, the Occult is actually really good for the Shadow Staff. So that's one of the main things that I really need to boost my DPS for Chambers and for TOA. So we're just going to be doing this for a very long time until we get some Smoke Devils. That's not even my drop. It's somebody else's. There's no collection log. I've been trolled. I can't even pick that up. Look at it. I'll go ahead and take this one, though. Nice. 
now that I finished bursting for the occult, I can go ahead and make the tormentor bracelet, which costs 3 million GP to make because of the onyx. But this is also the best in slot bracelet for mage. It feels good to have the Zenites done. It, it does take a little while for them to do it, especially if you go dry, but they're well worth having on the account. And that's exactly why I went to go do Zolra after getting the Occult and Tormented. You all know that we gotta get that 86 Herblore level for Super Combat, so here's level 84. Get him back in to TOB. Oh, oh, it's purple. Let's go. No Justy Helm, no Avernic. Everything will be set in this world. Come on, no Justy Helm, no Avernic. Okay, cut the clip. Going in for another KC. Oh, we got a purple for one of the irons. He's just like me. He's my twin. Undergeared and very spooned. What's he going to get? Ooh, a rapier. Nice. Nice, nice. That's what we need on these accounts. Let's go. Here we are with 98 magic. Getting prayer done is just as important, so here's level 80. Somehow we just teleported through the space-time continuum for 86 Herblore. Now we can boost for super combats. Unlimited teleports with the Eternal Gem. I don't know if that's lucky or unlucky, but I'm going to take it. I guess we can teleport here anytime that we want. It's kind of weird. Well, all right. Just trying to get this Bandos kill. Hopefully we get the BCP. I've been saying this with every single kill so I can get it on clip. What's it gonna be? Oh shit! <laughs> Let's go! We need that for the range defense for TOB. That's so awesome. I think we finished this, the, the log within like what? 500 KC? I'll take it. So if you notice by the points, this duo hasn't been going very well. I don't think I've done chambers in, in, in quite a long time. So dying this many times is pretty unfortunate. But let's see if we can get that tablet. Man, this was pretty rough. I think I'm going to need a little bit of practice on this before I get it down for solos. Because this was just too funny. I mean, it was a fun time, though. I had a great time. All right, blood runes. I'll take it. Let's get out of here. This has taken me 19 full raids of 35 minutes plus to finally get this achievement. And we actually get it on a combat achievement too, but a deathless solo raid. Thank God. I make YouTube videos playing RuneScape and I can't press record. But here's my first purple. It's a Denny B from Chambers. Here is to another raid completion. Man, these are going by quick. This KC, I'm going to have it up like quite a bit pretty soon. Come on, purple. Oh, yes. Very nice. Let's go. Anything but Justy. Anything. I mean anything but Justy. All right, we're going to open it up right now. No milking. Psych. I know, I know. I'll do Cerberus soon. But we'll try to get to 95 Slayer and save our prayer pots for Hydra first because that's a little more important. But here's 94. Back to the good old bursting tasks. And we're coming in with 99 Mage in just one moment. That was short lived. And we have now just about unlocked Hydra with a 95 Slayer. So at this moment in the account, we are stuck at Hydra, the one, two, three counter. And I don't know if how many times you ever counted the one, two, three, but this is going to literally make you go insane. You'll be doing this forever. You'll be sleeping and thinking of one, two, three. You're going to wake up and think of one, two, three. You're going to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner counting one, two, three in your head. 
watching every single range and mage hit, making sure that you pair correctly. It's 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 pretty funny. But I'm going to go for the claw and for the gloves. I know everyone does it, um, so I might as well just state that I'm doing it. I also need the money for the shadow because I'm completely broke from doing Slayer. I have zero money, and this thing prints out money for days. So every 7 million or so GP that I get, I'm going to put it towards my shadow, and then we will run chambers with the shadow. Also, if you guys like this video, go ahead and drop a sub if you're not subscribed. It really helps me out a lot, and it makes sure that I can give you guys the best content. I don't know how the hell I put 10 minutes of video in three weeks of gameplay, but we managed to do it. And next week, we'll have another video out on schedule again. And hopefully, we won't go through too many times this year uh, missing weeks of videos. So thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you again. Bye.